What's up, guys? We've made it here to Snoqualmie Falls. Check it out. Hating life. Maybe oh, one. not everybody. Maybe they didn't go all the way down, but yeah. We got some people that are like hating it. But anyways, you'll see us later, huffing and puffing. She is stuck inside Bigfoot's toilet. She don't know it. This is the second um, or the lower level parking lot. Right here. There's bathrooms there too. It's cool. Success. Yes, 
We all made it. We're still here. Okay. What up, y'all? We're going to oh Jollibee right now. I'm going to show you the picture. Shang and Justine. Justine, say what's up. What the hell? Oh yeah, we up here in Jollibee, well, Seafood City, but we're going to Jollibee. Check it. What do you guys want to do? You're hungry? You want to eat here for real? Oh yeah, because mom and dad had eaten already, but we'll bring them something. Yeah, mom said they ate already. Check it out, real city. And then we got the bakery up in this mug here. Valerios. Hello, people. All right, we got Red Ribbon up in here. We got Crispy Town up in here. Chow King over to the right. And you know, damn, there's a hell of people at Jollibee, though. Damn it. <laughs> hell of people. I'm going in line anyway. The Hula Shan. True, I haven't been there. I have not been to this. But I'm going in line. I mean, I mean, damn, this line is long as hell, but you know. Check it out. Man, you guys suck. I'm staying with you. No, you can go. Go ahead. You suck. <laughs> First time eating Jollibee in the States. But the guy looks a whole in it. In it. It's good. Good thing. I feel like they shited us on these fries. Can I tell you? I just ate three. I ate two. No, I, I ate, ate one. three. Why is it like gone? Yeah. yeah. So what? That's gone. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> That sauce is good. And she dips it in the gravy. That's the That's the way to go. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm about to smash on this. Wait, wait, Justine. I'm gonna wait and have Justine smash on this real quick. <laughs> yep. And then you gotta dip it in the gravy afterwards. Is it as good as you remember or better? Mmm. The skin is good. Okay. Tell me what you think, Who? Huh? What do you think? I'm wrong. Tell us about it. Is crispy it juicy? Crispy shit. I mean, it's what, really crispy. Spicy? <laughs> um, the spice is good enough, like, just, I, I can... Just enough. It's just a little kick. What about the meat? The meat's like super juicy. I got the dark meat. Wow. Good, huh? Mm. And this is how... The crisp is really good. That's how you eat it right there. Mm -hmm. Look. Okay. And now back to our regular programming. Yeah. Is it good? It's 
good. It's got the hot dog action, cheese. Noodles are cooked well. They're al dente. A little sweeter than we expect spaghetti to be, but it's not Italian spaghetti. It's Filipino spaghetti. Mm. It's good. I mean, I feel like it's a, it's a spaghetti, a version of spaghetti that kids would like more. Um, because I like mine a little bit spicier, but you know, you can always put some Tabasco in it. It's banging them. I like it. What do you think in terms of a noodle dish? Right? Reminds me of a little bit more cheese. It reminds me of a banging Chef Boyardee. That's a good way to put it. Huh? I put more lot, or lemon, sorry. You put more lemon? I like it lemony, but I think, I know it's, oh, I think it's good though. It's legit. Mm -hmm. It's a legit palabo. I mean, it's got everything in it. It's got the shrimp, you got the pork bits in there, some of the chicken, the, the, the eggs. Palabo. Really yeah. mm. Oh, yeah, this is a decent palabo for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it hits all the notes. It has a little smokiness. Um, I don't think I ever. I taste the shrimp flavor. Mm. And the, the noodles are a great texture. And they cut it up so it's not all like long, you know? So it's easy to eat. Have you ever had Max's? That's good. I like it. Yeah, I'd order that again, for sure. What do you think about this adobo rice, though? It's good because it's not like too salty because of the chicken, so it has good flavor. So it, it just like... Yeah, it kind of complements it. Oops, yeah. let me get my finger out the way of this damn camera. <laughs> there we go. The There's like chunks of meat in it. Today. And the, the rice is cooked well. The first one I had was spicier than this one. It's like straight up fried. It's, it's good. Nice it's not soggy. I like it. But let me dig into this chicken first, though. <laughs> Spicy. Oh, yeah. That thing. Oh, Look how fat this is. And it's so crispy. Right, I'm gonna we'll do a little ASMR on it after I dip it in here. And folks, this is how you eat dollar meat chicken. You gotta dip it and smash on it. Mmm. You hear that crunch? Oh, it's spicy too. It has a little kick to it. Mmm. Mm. I forgot how much of a kick it has. Wow. That was big. I'm going in for more. It's juicy. It's crispy. It's still hot. And it's spicy. It's all everything that you would think spicy fried chicken should be. And this gravy right here makes it. I always love those. Oh. Mm. But I'm not doing both. Mm. He needs to retry it. Taste it with the fried rice. I've retried it. How did you do it? Huh? How did you try it? How? So this is the yum burger with cheese. It looks like a legit burger, though. So. This is like mm. Huh? Mmm. Mmm, this is the cheeseburger. Do you want to try it? It's pretty good. I think it would taste like a McDonald's cheeseburger if it had pickle or an onion. I feel like it's better than um, McDonald's cheeseburger, so. Right? <laughs> it's a yummy burger. The, the sauce makes it though. I feel like it's the sauce that makes it. Billy actually likes their aloha. The pineapple one. The meat is good. That's why. Yeah. I like the patty. The patty is very good. I think I would eat it even without cheese. It, the patty is really good. Tell me about it. What do you like about the patty? 
nice because it's not too thick. Yeah. Everything is a good ratio. Yeah, because if it was thicker, it would overpower Over. the meat. Yep. So like good, good bun one? to uh, hmm? um, meat like ratio. There's like a consistency to the body. Yeah, or like a meatball, yeah. <laughs> meatloaf. Yeah. It's like it's a it's like a homemade burger. Yeah. It's like not rough. dry. It doesn't yeah. taste like a hockey puck. You know what I mean? It's like legit. It's not packed in too solid. Yeah. It has bite to it. Here, you try it. Seriously. That was yummy. That's why they call it a yum burger. It looks humble. <laughs> it's a humble burger. Yeah, you're right. It's just a humble burger. But it's done right. Alright, try to get the flavor of the meat. The meat kind of tastes like the mix from uh, lumpia mm. without the vegetables. Mm. Right? You're right. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. Me too. I can see now that. Now that you said it. The gravy. Oh, you'll eat that. Look how thick, thick this chunk is. Just straight up skin, y'all. I'm glad I left Simba. ASMR our <laughs> vibes. He's going to be all tired. He is, he's sleeping. If he was not happy, I would have been hearing him bark already. I also like get the pineapple fourth. juice. <laughs> I just wanted to taste it. I get full easily off the little. Mm. Sweet. Pineapple. Mm, that's really good. You know what I miss having? Spicy. Chicken steak. Mm, it's quaint. I'm just gonna eat that first. It's pretty small. Oh, it's a little bit crispy still. Yeah, this is we had this last. There's like two big old dang, they're fresh too. They're not oh there's a big chunk. Sauce. Sauce. That's it. It's pretty basic. Mm -hmm. How's it taste? Still juicy. It was sitting for a while, so it was crispy. I mean, it's still crispy, but not as crispy as it should be. And with the raw jalapeno, it makes it spicy. But it, it's it's fresh. It's a fresh jalapeno, so it's really good. It's not like, like a pickled one like some people put pickled jalapenos. The sauce is nice and creamy. The ratio to the bread is perfect. It's not too thick. All in all, it's better than Papa's. Uh oh, fight. Fight us in the comments. Fight me. <laughs> fight me down below. Well, you know this chicken is better than Popeyes. This is better than Popeyes. Fight me. KFC's trash. I know, they, they split like, the past. KFC used to be my favorite, but Dollaby up there. She thick. <laughs> but not as thick as Popeyes. Yeah, not as thick as Popeyes. It's a smaller burger all the way around. But the quality. That bite of the fresh jalapeno. Right. Mm -hmm. That makes it. Yeah, it's been sitting, but it's still juicy. Mm -hmm. Moist. I hate that word. But yeah, that, I feel like that that fresh jalapeno though. What? Does it for people yeah. that like the it spice? Does it. Yeah. It does it. For me, I'd get it extra. Dips. Mm -hmm. That's good. Look at this. <laughs> Approved. Alright, sis sisters the, approved. Um, the chicken is like perfectly cooked for a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The ratio from the bread to the... Yeah, and that fresh jalapeno. I did want to mention 
when you said bread, the actual breading is not too thick. You know how sometimes some chicken sandwiches are like it's hella breaded. breaded, like triple breaded, and you're like, bro, <laughs> I get it, you want to be crispy, but this is like a good amount of breading. Just see. enough. Yeah, let's see. Show it to see us. how thin the breading is? Yeah. But she there, but... And it's crispy. <laughs> She's there, but she's not in the way, you know? She's not too thick. Yeah. <laughs> she's just right. <laughs> All right. Good experience. Banana lanka. Banana lanka. So, I mean, it's, it's probably like a thorn, you know, because it's a banana lanka. But they look how they do the uh, the line right there. So you know what it is. Like. Mm. Oh, it's not as hot anymore, but. Oh, it looks like you can see the seeds. It's like toron. I can smell the bananas. I can. It doesn't smell like a traditional banana, so it might be like the um, plantain banana. See? Can you see me? Yeah. Zoom around on his own. It's like turun. Mm. It's like turun in a pie. Mm. Although, I'd rather have traditional turun. I don't like it as much as the peach mango pie, but it's a solid dessert. I'd probably have it with like uh, um, ice cream or something else. Mm. It tastes like a turun. I get the lanka first. Mm -hmm. Because it's a stronger fruit flavor. Than and then the, the banana texture. Of course the crust is bomb because it's deep fried. And it doesn't <laughs> taste like that typical banana flavor that you you know usually are used to in like I guess in an American sense. <laughs> it's a plantain. And they also, when they make, like, they say banana cream pie, those are, like, sweetened. Mm -hmm. So it takes it away from that um, kind of fresh banana flavor. So I think the lanka comes through more because it, they kept that fresh banana flavor in there. And it's not Plantain too sweet. Banana, more yeah. Than, uh, yeah. It's not too sweet. <laughs> I like it. I would per still I would prefer it. peach mango pie. But yeah, dip this in, like, a... Halo halo or something. Oh, he's, he's better. I was gonna say vanilla. Peach mango pie. Oh, they don't have any lines in it or whatever. But I guess they know <laughs> which is which. It won't. Because you're too close, bro. <laughs> you gotta put it on macro if you're gonna go that close. I tried it. Salute. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is the life. It's much sweeter. Mango at first, peach in the back. I was only going to eat a quarter of it, but <laughs> she was going to come back. No, there was a hair on it. Oh. <laughs> no, and <I> lint. Sorry. <laughs> mm. I was going to get out of it. Peach mango. Still the number one. Yep. Over the banana and over the ube. And it didn't burn our mouth this time because usually I can't wait. Yep. <laughs> but it's still bomb and it's still hella crispy. This is the hollow hollow right? Did you get a couple scoops? Yes. Good. No, I got a few. I was just telling him how I don't Oh yeah, so what kind of ice cream did they put on top? <laughs> did we have a choice? A There's no. like the ube halaya. There's like the little palm actions, I forgot what they call it. Beans are weird to me though. Look at that, there's beans in here. 
Like and they put um, shaved ice and then evaporated milk. Check out their spoons. <laughs> it's a little long. And so you can reach all the way to the bottom and mix, mix, mix. So this is hollow. This is hollow hollow. And it stands for mix, mix. You hollow it or you mix, mix it. Yeah, go for it. So you just kind of want to bring the the bottom up. Oh, this is hard. I don't know what kind of ice cream they use, but... Some hard-ass ice cream. Get the, look at the bottom! Let me see. It's a process, Let me right? see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. There we go. Oh, there's the Halia. It's turning it purple. Ooh, see, now you see all the colors mixing in. Okay. Just gonna hollow, hollow it. Okay, oh, cool. The flan is up in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had the texture of the bean, but. Mm. Oh, I had some of the flan. That was good. I can taste electrifying in it. I don't think they put on the condensed milk, or if they did, I, I don't forget, I'm not getting it. Me either. Oh, well, I didn't really make it. Oh, the bottom's yeah. still there. There's still stuff coming up. It's actually pretty good. Oh, the beans are growing on me, though. I didn't used to like it, but... It's when they were younger, yeah. yeah. Wait, give me that green edge. is like different. That's what's kind of exciting about this this dessert. Right? You get a different like texture each time. Yeah the green and jello thingies, I don't know what they're called but sure. those are my favorite. Pick, pick it out. And it's not like a a jello that'll crumble if I like press on it. It has like a harder firmer a texture. Because it, it's yeah. cold too. It's not like J E L L O Jello that you make at home. How to chew? Jelly. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I would have liked to. Like, usually we do. Yeah, ice cream. Mm. We got it from Red Ribbon, not Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee didn't have any. Yeah. Hey guys. So they're up there looking on this thing, so you can eat with me. Who can? <laughs> I just want those jellies. Get the ice cream, that big ass. I know. Ice cream. It's good. I like it. Mm, this is cool. This is a very good dessert. <laughs> you were like, look over there. And I was like, I feel like it's a meal on its own, though. Because <laughs> it's like so <laughs> rich with different things. I can eat this as a meal. Hmm. Right? Because it's mixed up with so many different things. Textures, taste, flavors. Oh, that's cool. I was going to ask if this was from Old Navy Pajamas. <laughs> but it's not. No. This is cute. I did wear this on Christmas, though. <laughs> that's cute. I know. It's so this one. I'm looking at uh, pictures from our hike. Yeah. All right, red ribbon. Come here and get this. Did you show them what we're eating? Hmm? Did you show them our eating area? Oh no. Here. This is Oops. where we're at. Look, we're at a grocery. Oh store. shit! This is our table, and this is our view, like a literal grocery store. Whoa! Why is this auto um, zooming? It's creeping me out. Oh. Oh. oh, our view is the Filipino grocery store. So there's an eatery here. There's a bunch of open tables, and then there's Grill City in the back. We didn't get from there, but the, um, you can. See, she's gonna go and buy some Powerball. So 
So yeah, I was doing a questionnaire earlier today actually, and it said which one of you would win the lotto? And I said Sheila would win the lotto because she's the one that plays the lotto. Even when we do, um, even when we do a pool, she's the one that does the pool for us. So it's a coincidence that that question came up today, and she's Wait, playing. Lo yeah, it I was doing these the list of questions, so, you know, like which one of us would, you know, so, and that came up. So see, and I knew it was you that would do it too. <laughs> What do you guys think of a Dolly B Justine since you haven't been It was really good. She hasn't been so to Dolly cool. B in the US. She went in the Philippines was the last time, which was a really long time ago. Sweet. But if you are in Seattle, this is south of Seattle in the South Center area. Oh. They have Jolly Bee in the <laughs> Seafood City area. Right there. It's so not I go. Let me get that because um, Wait, we're, we're closing out. Say, oh. well, say what's up to our viewers. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. We had a fun time at Green Lake. Then we went to um, Snoqualmie Falls. And then we got Lardy here at Jolly Bee. Jolly gained back all the calories and then some. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. We need but to walk Green Lake. And that was like a um, first time we ever did that on like a Easter. Usually yeah, today's it's like Easter. at home, church and home. Done. Yeah, we nice. actually went out and spent time together, so that was pretty cool. And now we're going to spend time with the parentals, so... Yep, we're going to go see the parentals, and Mom's going to make us eat Bunsit again. I'm um, sure. But, you know, we got to do it. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a little snippet of it here at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks make for sure watching. to... Like. Comment. Subscribe. <laughs> and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time we post a new video. And also check out our Instagram page at GetLardy. And same with TikTok, GetLardy. There's nothing on there yet, but just wait. Yeah, <laughs> we'll put up more content, I promise. It says, Bye. Peace. Bye.